The playoffs have started shaking up the WNBA world, but not for the reasons we expected. Caitlin Clark made her playoff debut against the Connecticut Sun, but what should have been her moment to shine turned into a nightmare in a matter of seconds. The game had barely begun when the Suns' Dijon Carrington hit Clark square in the eye, a controversial play that changed the entire course of the game. Clark, known for her sharp three-point shooting, spent the rest of the game struggling to see her way to victory. From that moment on, it was clear that this wasn't the same game everyone expected to see. For those used to seeing Clark dominate the court, what happened next was heartbreaking. The player who drains three-pointers as if it were the easiest thing in the world simply disappeared. Clark finished the night with just 11 points, well below her average of nearly 20 per game in the regular season. But the worst part was her shooting. She attempted 17 shots and made only four, a miserable 23.5% success rate. The impaired vision affected her entire game. Assists, Clark's trademark, also dropped. The most frustrating thing was seeing Clark trying to force plays that would normally be easy for her. Precise passes ended up in the hands of opponents. Shots she could make in her sleep hit the rim or didn't even come close. The incident didn't just affect Clark, but the entire Indiana fever. Coach Christy Sides clearly had to throw plan A in the trash as soon as she realized her star wasn't at her best. By the end of the game, with defeat looming, the disappointment was visible on everyone's face on the fever. It wasn't just the unfavorable score, it was the feeling that they didn't even have a chance to show their true potential. With all this, speculation about the possible consequences of the incident didn't take long to emerge. The big question, will the league officially address this? Many expect a statement from the WNBA about the play. Some are betting on a fine for Dijonai Carrington, while others think there will be at most a public slap on the wrist. One speculation that's gained traction is about a possible suspension for Carrington. Analysts are comparing this play with other incidents from the past, trying to predict if the league will consider this serious enough to keep Carrington out of the next game. The impact of such a decision on the series would be enormous. The refereeing issue is also at the center of discussions. Many believe that in the next game, the referees will be more attentive. Will we see stricter officiating? Some say that any stronger contact with Clark will be called a foul immediately. And what about Clark herself? Everyone's eyes are on the Fever's medical department. Will she be cleared to play the next game? If so, will she use some kind of eye protection? Looking ahead, the next matchup between the Fever and the Sun promises to be electrifying. The big question is, how will Caitlin Clark be if she steps on the court? At 100%, we can expect a revenge performance. Just imagine the narrative. Clark recovers from injury and leads an epic comeback. But what if she's not fully recovered? In that case, Coach Christy Sides will have to rack her brain we might see a completely different tactical scheme. On the Sun's side, the question is, will they maintain the same strategy? After all, it worked in the first game. But what if Clark comes back strong? They might be forced to completely change their game plan mid-match. One thing is certain, the pressure on Clark will be relentless. The Sun knows that injured or not, she's the heart and soul of the fever. It wouldn't be surprising to see double teaming on her all the time. The rest of the Fever team will have to step up. Kelsey Mitchell and Aaliyah Boston will have to take on even more responsibility. This could be the game that defines their careers so far. And we can't forget about the mental aspect. The Fever has its back against the wall. Losing the first game is tough. They're going to need incredible mental strength to turn things around. One factor that could change everything, the crowd. The next game is at the Fever's home court and you can bet the arena will be packed, supporting the team. This incident raises bigger questions about the future of the WNBA as a whole. Caitlin Clark isn't just a talented player, she's a phenomenon, a walking revolution in women's basketball. She brought attention to the league that hasn't been seen in years. Packed arenas, million dollar TV contracts, social media engagement, all of this exploded with her arrival. But what now? 
What if this incident is more than it seems? What if it's the beginning of a trend towards more physical, more aggressive play against rising stars? The WNBA is at a crossroads. On one hand, it has a golden opportunity to capitalize on the Caitlin Clark effect and take the league to a new level. On the other, it runs the risk of seeing its new icon being snuffed out by excessively physical play. Or worse, by injuries. Finally, this playoff series could shape the future of physical play in the WNBA. If the league fails to take meaningful action or address this incident head on, it may set a dangerous precedent. Young stars entering the league may face increased aggression as teams look for ways to neutralize their impact on the court. This could fundamentally change how the game is played, potentially shifting it towards a more physical, defense-driven style that could undermine the offensive brilliance that players like Clark bring to the table. The WNBA is at a tipping point. What happens next won't just affect this season or this series it may define the league's direction for years to come. The balance between protecting players and maintaining the competitive edge of the game has never been more delicate. For Caitlin Clark, the next game is more than a chance to redeem herself. It's an opportunity to prove that she is more than just a shooting star, but a resilient force in women's basketball. It's a delicate balance. How do you maintain the intensity and excitement of the sport without putting your biggest stars at risk? How do you ensure that talents like Clark can shine without turning the game into something too soft? And it's not just about Clark. It's about all the young players coming up, about the future of the sport, about what we want women's basketball to be from here on out. This incident, this, this playoff series, could be a turning point. It could be the moment when the WNBA decides what kind of league it wants to be in the coming years. A league that protects and promotes its talents or one that allows them to be neutralized by force? The answer to this question will shape not just the rest of this playoff series, not just Caitlin Clark's career, but the future of all professional women's basketball. What did you all think about this whole situation with Caitlin Clark? Do you think it was intentional or just an unfortunate play of the game? Should the WNBA take any action or leave things as they are? I want to see everyone commenting down below. Share your theories, your opinions, even your predictions for the next game. This is a hot topic and your opinion is super important. If you enjoyed this analysis and want to stay on top of everything happening in the WNBA, especially in this playoff season that promises to be historic, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon too so you don't miss any videos. I promise to bring you all the latest news, behind the scenes, and the hottest analysis of the league. See you soon!